It's the Kawhi lawyer, Chris Donahoe. And this past week, Apple CEO Tim Cook launched Apple's latest device, the Apple Watch, for th starting at $349. Apparently, one of the features on this Apple Watch is to transport everyone back to 1987 at a time when people still wore watches. What's with the retro theme, Apple? What's next? The Apple Abacus? Look, I'm counting. Or the Apple Steam Engine? Actually, that will probably still sell well so long as everyone can still download music to it. So my question is, do we really need the Apple Watch? One of the unique features of this watch is a three-ring activity app, which monitors your daily activity, including whether you've been sitting on the couch too long and need to stand up. I remember this feature. I used to call it Mom. You can also receive emails, phone calls on the watch, get social media alerts. So why do we need our phones again? But can the Apple Watch actually tell time? That's what I want to know. You know what a cool feature on the Apple Watch would be? A feature where it would actually reverse time by 10 minutes and then that way I wouldn't be late for meetings or court. Now that is a feature I would pay $349 for. But I'm sorry, Apple. I think the watch has passed its time. All pun intended. But I still love you, Apple, and I'll be waiting in full anticipation. I'll be checking my eye calendar for the spring of 2017 when Apple releases its latest design product, the eye sundial. Now that's something that's worth the price. Until next time, this is the quiet lawyer, Chris Donahoe. Take care.